So these Zelda themed gloves for Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask were a bit of an impromptu thing. I've recently been a little bit obsessed with Angelus brand paints for leather and other materials because these paints are super durable and they look super cool. I, I don't understand the physics behind them, but I initially wanted to paint a wallet that I just bought and some old leather jackets that I had and while I was like setting up my stuff I walked by my gloves and I thought it would be kind of cool to paint those. My initial uh, idea was the Hylian shield from Ocarina of Time and maybe like Samus's helmet on the other one but eventually decided to do Majora's Mask because I, I liked the design of Majora's Mask and I thought it would be cool to make them match like the N64 era Zelda games so that's why I decided on these two. Uh, so yeah, uh, without further ado, I will get into the process of how I did these. <laughs> so the first thing I did was use some Angelus brand deglazer to get rid of the finish on the glove. And you might be able to see that like that stuff comes right off, like that cotton pad is gray. The, the finish and the design basically melted off. It scared me at first that I was going to damage the glove, but it seemed fine in the end. So I did like two coats or like two passes of deglazer before um, taking some white paint and painting it on. This brush probably wasn't the most ideal choice because it's like super streaky and hard. But I ended up doing two coats of white. So here's the second coat with like a better brush. Ended up like leading to a better finish. Once that was dry, I took, took the design of the Hylian shield and taped it to some Sorol transfer paper, which is like graphite on one side and, and, and regular on the other side. So if you have everything affixed like I do, um, you can basically just like trace your design, or in this case, uh, something I found on the internet and printed. And this is me figuring out that, hey, it transferred, it's not super clean, so I'm going to outline it with some marker in order to get like lines that I can, that I can see. And then I'm starting the paint process. So I'm starting with colors that are super light and I know will take a few coats to do. So that's why I'm starting off with yellow and then moving on to like these little intricate bits using a super thin brush. And then the, the metallic silver gray was also like kind of thin so I needed to use a bunch of uh, layers on that so that's why I started that too and me painting the background was kind of like well I'm gonna go to bed soon so I might as well get like this big coat on and let it dry overnight so that like the next day I can I can start working again and I think I just got like really excited because I, I ended up painting more than I wanted to. And here's a close-up shot of like finer details within the shield, so like all the rivets and stuff. And then I wasn't initially going to work on the second glove, but I was too excited, so I thought I'll, I'll give it a shot. I tried using some like Shoppers Drug Mart nail polish remover, and that that didn't seem to do the trick so I ended up getting more deglazer in like little bottles because they were sold out of the big bottles um, that those were from above ground art supplies downtown uh, so yeah so after I, I stripped the finish off I'm doing another coat of white to, like as a primer so that like all the all the lighter colors will show through uh, more vibrantly and then same process with the transfer paper and the Majora's Mask design this time. I was initially going to do like uh, a Metroid theme, but I thought maybe keeping it consistent um, with like Zelda imagery would be nice. And it kept like the gloves kind of consistent because one is like fully blue and one is fully purple apart from the, the actual design. Uh, so here's me starting with yellow paint again because it's super thin and I know I'm gonna need a bunch of layers I actually kind of made a mistake here and painted outside the lines that's because I wanted to cover up some of the pencil marks but 
and and thought like whatever whatever background purple would just cover that up but it didn't end up being the case so here is just going into the the mass design the the orange I couldn't I couldn't figure out like a proper orange to use like the orange default like Angelus paint wasn't what I wanted it was a bit too dark and flat so I ended up mixing like neon orange and some red and um, and yellow to get various like tones of orange in this then um, then I started painting the background with um, the their neon purple and I, I made another mistake in, in how I like mixed it with a darker purple when I really should have just stuck with the neon purple until I got like appropriate coverage but I think it turned out all right in the end so after I got like all the purple down like like enough of a coat and I started uh, getting to the details of the mask so painting these outlines which I wouldn't normally do, but I found that it helped the mask stand out from the background. Um, in addition to like the the dark outlines on the mask, which I was going to do anyway, but I I mean like outlining the actual like silhouette or the shape of the mask. And so after all that, taking my heat gun that just arrived on Amazon from Amazon j earlier that day, so I could work faster. Um, I was kind of running against the running against the clock is that the term uh, I had to finish these quickly because the class is next morning or my first class where I'd be using these gloves and and this is just the finish at this point like painting their uh, using their acrylic glazes I used matte for the for the Hylian shield and satin for the Majora's mask one because of um, su it was super matte already and I wanted a bit of shine and the Hylian shield was already shiny, so I used the matte one to sort of even them out. And uh, yeah, so here are the results. I think it turned out way better than I expected. Yeah, that's, that was my process. And I'd be happy to work on anyone's gloves if they want me to, or if you want to work on your own. Um, I feel like this isn't a super common thing that you see. Lots of people will paint shoes or jackets or stuff. Uh, I haven't really seen people customize gloves, so uh, yeah, <laughs> this was really fun and kind of impromptu. And uh, hopefully, I'll work on my shin pads next.